We've been working in digital fashion for a number of years now, but we've really not seen many applications in fashion of real time, that ability to have an interactive experience and having real time plus simulation is something that it's almost that holy grail. It's that ability to, yeah, kind of maybe apply it for virtual try on and so on. We wanted to really kind of push the boundaries as far as we could and, and try and do it to sort of movie level special effects uh, and really make it as realistic as possible and, and create as much impact as possible for fashion brands trying to produce their garments in that kind of most high end and luxury way that they can. Digital Domain is a visual effects company that was started by James Cameron, Scott Ross, and Stan Winston, uh, huge people in the, the filmmaking industry. Uh, we work on all kinds of films, uh, including Titanic and X-Men and uh, Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and most uh, kind of notably right now is uh, the last couple of Avengers movies. We realized that with the advent of very powerful graphics cards and uh, machine learning techniques, we could start doing some of the stuff at the quality that we were expecting in movies in real time. In order to do real clothing and make it look real, it's very complicated. There's all sorts of stuff going on. The warp and weft of the fibers and all the details of the fabric and how the fabric is stitched together and everything that's going on really affects how the clothing moves and hangs on the body. Since we were working with a machine learning tool that allows uh, real-time cloth simulation, we wanted to create a more elaborate outfit and we collaborated with a graduate, an LCF graduate called Greta Gandosi. The next step, which was extremely important for this project, was to basically train the machine learning algorithm to be able to respond to real-time animations and basically drape the cloth in real-time. And yeah, that's basically what we're doing here. We're giving it a bunch of joint angles and stuff like that as inputs and a bunch of cloth deformations as outputs. Uh, and we're just training the neural networks to map between the joint angles and the, um, and the cloth deformations. And the final step and most important of this project was the fact that through Rococo Studio and uh, through the machine learning model that allows real-time cloth simulation, we were able to stream real-time motion capture data into the engine. And Jade was streaming real time animations into the engine and the garments were animated realistically in real time using uh, the machine learning model. Digital Domain is interested in digital humans and digital humans wear fashion. There's a, there's a big desire for virtual try-ons and, and being able to create a digital human of yourself and then just sort of say show me what I would look like in this piece of clothing. So working with FIA was just great. The people at FIA are extraordinarily technically adept, and they also understand new technology. This has been a great test drive of our technology in that it showed us where it needs some work. It also showed us where it does work. Uh, so that's, that's been great. This is where this, tech, this kind of thing becomes much more than just like an acceleration technique and it becomes an actual way of capturing digital avatars which is going to be pretty important in the future of that technology. Uh, this project showed us like that uh, this field, the interconnected relationship between 3D graphics, real-time cloth simulation uh, and also game engine technology is kind of revolutionizing the field of digital fashion because not only it provides questions to many challenges such as virtual try-on and seamless AR experiences, but it also creates new pathways of communication and showcasing fashion content and imagery by using uh, game engine technology. Obviously that makes for more uh, exciting uh, online experiences, but we also want to take that into the real world. We want to kind of bring those digital experiences into augmented reality, bring that into the environment around us and maybe through AR glasses to, to be able to have digital garments in the real world with us, viewed in real time, maybe even on moving people. So it opens up a whole world of possibilities for us and we're really excited about it.